Before we get into today's video, I've got three things for you. Number one, if you want to get a notification whenever we post a new video, make sure you ring that bell. Number two, there's a TCG Player affiliate link in the show notes. After clicking that link, every purchase you make on tcgplayer.com helps support this channel. Number three, you'll also find a link to our Patreon where you can support us directly. And now, kick back and enjoy the show. What's up, Spikes? We're here in the basically finished now uh, Spike Feeder Studio here in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, Canada Earth. <laughs> we are bringing you something special today. <laughs> uh, these are the four decks crafted by uh, the four of us on teams for a, a project, a thing, competition. competition that we are calling the deck. A showdown. A showdown. Oh, uh, so, just a, a quick rundown on it. Anybody who was a $5 or up patron had the chance to sign up and get randomly assigned to one of our teams. Uh, I don't know that we necessarily picked who was going to be here even. But we just no. kind of said, I, it. I would like to do who it. Yeah, it. Or whatever. It. Yeah. <laughs> so, maybe Bill will be in it next time. Maybe Maddie will be in it one time. Okay. So, Ooh. don't lose hope if, we, yeah. uh, if you didn't get on whose team you wanted or Everybody something. Everybody did though, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think yeah. so. Uh, anyway, randomly assigned teams. Uh, we crafted with our teams, each of us crafted ban lists for our opponents. So each of us have six cards that we couldn't play chosen by our opponents. And then we had a two week uh, deck building period of collaboration within our teams, secret from the other members. And uh, here we are today with the goods, I suppose. <laughs> the deck. Yeah, the, the one, deck. Only one of the Only one the may... Wait, wrong show. No, no, yeah. can't say that. <laughs> Copyright. <laughs> um, so, I'm Elliot. Hashtag Team Elliot. Uh, I'm here with Thrasios Timna. Big surprise, I'm sure, to all of you. Uh, we'll put up my ban list here. Really quick. So, as you can see, Flash is on that. But we are still playing Protean Hulk. Uh, shout out to Sick Robot. Uh, you guys in the CDH community will know who he is. Uh, if you don't, he's a very prolific Hulk deck builder. And when Hulk didn't get banned from my team, we tunnel visioned real hard. <laughs> Slash podcaster. <laughs> yeah. Slash podcaster. So um, here we are. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to not flash Hulk, but I am going to Hulk. And uh, I'm going to hopefully combo kill these nerds. Well, he's wearing the tight shirt today. So I am. Hulk and. <laughs> <laughs> Let's cut that. <laughs> <laughs> Jen, what are you playing? Uh, I am playing Inala Archmage Ritualist. So we, as you can see my band last up here, um, we are kind of going for uh, keeping the ground clear of mana dorks, and uh, then we're playing some nice reanimator packages, and we're leaning really heavily on Spellseeker. So Spellseeker with Inala's um, Eminence trigger helps us get a lot of the cards out of our deck and helps us assemble our combo. So that's that's kind of what we're going for. Nice. Uh, I'm Jim of Team Jim fame. Um, you might recognize uh, the hashtag, probably more than Elliot's. But, uh, shots. yeah, you'll see my ban list here. And I'm playing Hapatra. And uh, we did this because we figured that people would be heavy on uh, creature-based combo strategies. So we wanted a strategy that was going to hate on creatures. So I think that was a, actually a conclusion that we all arrived at, but we'll talk yeah. about that after the game. Mm -hmm. So I figured to patch a nice low to the ground. We're gonna put minus one, minus one counters on things and eventually combo out with those minus one, minus one counters and the snakes that Hapatra makes. All right. Uh, I'm going last in turn order today. It's uh, hashtag Team Jerry. What's you got, up? You guys got hashtags? <laughs> well, you did too. Don't don't act surprised, old man. Uh, yeah. The youngest one here. Uh, I'm playing a deck that I have lovingly uh, referred to. Uh, well, actually, the entire team lovingly refers to as uh, Operation Napalm. Uh, the ban list is uh, right here. And. Uh, so the commanders are Vile Smasher the Fierce and Thrasios Triton Hero. Some might say uh, the two best uh, partners. Timna is awful. Um... <laughs> Some might say that, but they would be wrong. Yeah. The hottest take! <laughs> yeah. um, so we're basically paying, 
like everyone has already said, combating uh, creature strategies here. That's what we figured going in. So we're playing a lot of pyroclasm effects, keep the board clear until we can uh, fight through with our win con. Yeah, so uh, with that, here we go. We're going already. I'm going to draw for my turn. I'm going to play an underground river. Ooh. Oh, wow. Uh, and I'm going to go to 39 here to cast this preordain. I'm going to scry two. I'm going to put this one on top and this one on the bottom and draw this one. And then pass my turn to Jan. What card right. you put on the bottom? That one. That's a derived <laughs> information? All right. Uh, it's not derived information. It's unknown information. That's, That's why I'm hidden, trying to derive it. It's a hidden zone. It's a hidden zone. <laughs> You're a hidden zone. I'm going to play this Marsh Flats. Uh, and then I'm going to crack it going to 39. I'm going to get this Badlands untapped. Uh, and then we're going to cast an Imperial Seal. Oh, that's a good card. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna get this card, put it right there in this hidden zone, Jerry. And you're so I know it's lose two life. I know it's seven. hidden, but you are legally allowed to tell me what card it is. I can tell you anything I yeah, want. Yeah, you can buy it. Yeah, actually, what I got card is it. That's Force of Will. Okay, thanks. Pass I thought he was gonna say Force of Will. Okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm sure oh, that if that's Force of Will. <laughs> I'm going to play this Wooded Foothills, and I'm immediately going to crack it, going to 39. Getting this by you. By you? And I'm going to cast this Arbor Elf. Ooh, Arbor Elf. That untaps forests. It does. It's by you a forest. And a swamp. Oh, it, wow. It counts as, and it is affected by things that affect both forests and <laughs> swamps. I'm going to draw a card. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> oh, that's a good magic card. Oh. So I'm going to I'm gonna have a Magic the Gathering turn of uh, Magic the Gathering proportions. What? So I guess this is terrifying. I'm going to play Command Tower's land for turn. Go to game two. Okay. I'm going to play Mox Diamond. Ooh, okay. Uh, discarding bad lands. That's bad anyway. I'm going to yeah. play a Mana Crypt. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah. There's um, the Mystic Remora team. Go on. I'm going to tap uh, Mana Crypt for an Arcane Signet. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. And uh, then I'm going to tap... Uh... Just rolls out his entire <laughs> yeah. hand. Yeah, actually. Do I want to roll out my entire hand? Now nah, I'll cast... Uh... Oh! File Smasher. Mm. You got yeah, it. Yeah, that's really strong. <laughs> Holy. Just going to untap with uh, five, potentially six mana. I'm going to draw. Uh, let's see. Well, we had a good run, I guess. <laughs> Did we? I'm going to shock myself for this Overgrown Tomb. I have Elliot at 37, Which joining is, Jan. Did it surprise you? Did you not know? <gasps> I'm going to add a green and cast an Elvish Mystic. Oh. And then I'm going to pass my turn. Sorry, Ed, it's not as exciting as Jerry's. I'm going to untap. I'm going to draw this card. He drew the Force of Will. I did draw the Force the of Will. The Force of Will that he put on top with his yeah. Imperial Seal. Gonna like... And then told us that it was a Force of Will That's that he put good. on top with his Imperial Seal. Oh, this island. <laughs> he has no reason to lie. I have zero reason to lie. I'm going to cast a Dockside Extortionist. Ugh. Uh, Jerry, you Jerry, doomed us. Three. You fool. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to get uh, three treasures. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, uh... Ooh, three treasures. So many. Uh, I'm going to immediately spend two of them. Cast Dockside Extortionist. Signet. <laughs> Cast Dockside Extortionist. And then I'm going to pass my turn. Okay. I'll untap. Draw a card. I'm going to play this Snow-Covered Forest, Ooh. which I will then immediately tap to cast this Elvish Mystic. Ooh, Ooh me too. Snow Basics. This... I know. <laughs> Weak season. Weak season. <laughs> then year. I'm going to... Uh, tap this for a black, and untap it with my arbor. Ooh. Tap it for a green, and cast Hapatra. Holy Ooh. moly. Vizier of Poisons. Yep. And with that, I'll pass the turn. I'm going to untap. So, uh, Mana Crypt trigger on the stack. Uh, I'm going to flip this sweet Spike Feeder's uh, coin here. Um, spike Feeder side up, or Cactus side up, I take damage. No damage. Ooh, Playing with power damage. side up. Must be I don't know nice. Why I'm adjusting that. Okay, I'm going to draw a card for my turn. That is a magic card. I'm going to play so. Underground Sea, as Ariel would say, or not Ariel, so Sebastian would say, Under the Sea. I'm going to tap Mana Crypt for two <laughs> colorless and play a Grim Monolith. Uh, tr trigger, 
Uh, Vile Smasher. Oh, oh yeah. For two. Yeah. Two. So I'm going to roll this die here. Uh, yeah. Elliot's one, two. Jan, two, or three, four. Got it. Uh, Jim, the other ones. <laughs> Jim, 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 one. Jim, the other ones. Cactus side up is Jim. I'll take two and go to 37. Wow, We're just the 37 30. club. Man, if you had screwed up that flip, we'd all be at 37. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry? I thought we were friends. We're not. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, what are you doing with all that mana? I'm gonna tap an underground sea and a grim monolith, uh, floating two colorless. I'm gonna cast a damn no, demonic tutor. A damnation. Damnation. You say? <laughs> we cast a demonic tutor. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> two, two, colorless uh, yeah. two colorless floating. All right, so I'm gonna get this card. Um, and then with the two colorless floating, I'm gonna tap. Uh, uh, two black out of these ones, and I'm going to cast a Damnation. Do any uh, effects? Do I have any effects? I, I like probably do not. not have any effects. I also do not have any effects. Nothing from me. Elvish Mystic Dam. Uh, your creatures cannot be regenerated. Dockside Extortionist oh, in You're my welcome. graveyard. Uh, tapping my Arcane Signet, I'm going to cast this Mystic Remora. Okay. Oh. I will then pass the turn. Uh, untap. Draw for my turn. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna play this Flutter Strand. I'm gonna crack my Flutter Strand, going to 36. Off of my Flutter Strand, I'm gonna get a Tropical Island. Ooh. Tropical don't. Island. I, almost, I, I'm going to. I, don't, I think that's the only one I don't have a joke for. He almost stuck Good. his finger in Jerry's eye. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to cast this Elves. Are you paying shadow. the. Oh, yeah. look, your Suck donation. on the hat. Uh, I'm gonna take one down to 35 to cast a Carrion Feeder. Are you. Oh, God. Yeah, Jerry. Creature based decks. <laughs> uh, pass the turn. <laughs> pass the turn. I'm gonna untap and draw a card. All right. Uh, well, I'm gonna play this Blood Crypt untapped. Go to 35. Uh, I'm gonna tap this Blood Crypt for a black. We're gonna give Jerry a single card. Ooh. One card. I'm gonna cast Unearth. Hold on before it resolves. Uh, are you paying the four? What are you targeting? I'm gonna target Stock Side Extortion. That sounds good. Are you paying the four? Yeah. Is it a counterspell? No. Okay, cool. Effects. I have no effects. No nope. effects. Okay, cool. Dark side. Trigger, Trigger. dark side. Dark side How many? One, five. two, three, four, five. <laughs> Yeesh. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to pass the turn. Okay. On tap. Draw a card. I'm going to play a snow covered forest. I'm going to cast a boreal druid. Creature Ooh. based strategies. Mm. Creatures. Creatures. <laughs> uh, I'm going to. Cards in hand? One. One card in hand. Just the one from Dockside. Yeah. Yep. From the I did it. Uh, and I didn't counterspell the Dockside. So it's probably not a counterspell. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Well, it's probably not a mental misstep for the Unearth. <laughs> Yes. That's okay. almost certainly derived information. Uh, I'm going to pass the turn. Okay, I'm going to untap everything except for my Grim Monolith because it does not untap. And then I'm He gonna... says as he untaps. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I was, I, I'm not trying to cheat. Um, cheat count one. Cheat count one. <laughs> and then uh, I will trigger Mana Crypt and I will do the same as before. I'll flip this coin. Uh, Spike Feeder's head up. I uh, take damage. Is that what I said before? Yep. I think so. Spike Feeder's head up. Ooh. We're taking three. Jerry's at 37. 37. Aw, but now not everybody's at 37. Me and Jim are. We're the best. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's two and two. Okay. I'm going to elect to... to uh, yeah. I'm going to put a cumulative uh, upkeep counter on to Mystic Remora, and then I'm going to pay the one for it with uh, this Underground Sea. Sounds, Sounds good. Cool. I'm then going to draw for turn. Uh, I'm going to pass the turn. At the end of Jeremiah's turn. I'm going to cast a Worldly Tutor. Uh, oh, Ellie, why'd you have to do that? Well, you so, see. I have a Mystic Remora trigger. I have a Hang response. Oh. Oh, what do you got? Oh, you have a response to the Mystic Remora trigger? Or the well, Worldly technically, trigger? you get to respond yeah, first, oh, to, to, no matter what. Because So, um, technically, Worldly, worldly Tutor on the stack, stack triggers Mystic Remora. Yeah, yeah okay. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do anything. Okay, so I guess it moves to Jim. Yeah. I am going to... Cast Assassin's Trophy targeting your Mystic Remora. Uh, oh, Mystic, Mystic Remora. Remora. I have a response to that trigger. I'm going to flash in a Notion Thief. 
Okay, so in response to that notion, Thief, I have a good one for you. I'll flash in a notion, Thief. Mm. Cool. Uh, Judge, how does that work? Uh, we all scoop and go home. Uh, so how that works is because we have two notion thieves that are both going to try to replace the same... Uh, sorry, thieves? Thieves. Notion <laughs> thieves. <laughs> who are both going to try to replace the same draw effect. Um, the controller of the draw effect will choose which one applies. Right, but in this um, case, Jerry's drawing the card, yes. so his notion thief doesn't apply? Uh, well, well his notion that? thief is going to resolve before my notion thief. Well, no, because It'll my... trying to replace it. Yeah. No, no, well, like, right now we have to oh, resolve yeah. the stack, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then, so when Jerry tries to draw, uh, my Notion Thief will replace that draw, and then his Notion Thief will replace my Notion Thief's draw. Right. But and if it was, like, draws. but if it was me or Elliot drawing, both of them would try to replace the yeah. same draw at the same time, and, and then, then whoever's drawing gets to pick yeah. which controller of the Notion Thief draws. That makes sense? All right. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, so now okay. mine's resolved. Jerry's resolved. Jan's resolved. Jan's resolved. Uh, so first mi Mystic or more. Yeah, yeah, off of the Assassin's Trophy. Uh, so Jerry draws off that. I'm going to uh, drop, well, yeah, I'm going to draw off this one. Yep. Okay. So Assassin's Trophy. Assassin's targeting Trophy targeting Mystic, Mystic or more. Resolves. Okay. So now I have to go search my library. Well, I don't have to, but I'm going to elect to search my library for a basic line and put it into play untapped or tapped? Untapped. Untapped. All right. I'm going to go get this island. So now right. we're back to worldly uh, tutors. No, no, resolving the other Mr. 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 Yeah, exactly. Oh, so the Mr. Kamara. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna draw that one. Okay. okay. So now no. worldly tutor on the stack. No. Did you already draw from? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay. That, yeah. I drew for both of the mine that cool. were on the stack. Cool. I will. Uh, I'll. I'll let it happen. <laughs> so benevolent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. My worldly tutor is going to put a Protean Hulk on top of my library. Isn't there? Sorry, Isn't that a what? A, card? a what Hulk? What? Nothing? I'm oh. gonna untap, yeah. Oh, that... uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna draw this card that I put on top of my library that okay. nobody needs to know about. Okay. Yeah, nothing's happening. Oh, okay. I'm gonna take a pain off of my Elves of Deep Shadow, like and I'm going to cast a Spell Seeker. Oh, oh no. going to get Flash? Ha ha ha. Does it resolve? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I got nothing. Off my spell seeker, I'm gonna put this vampiric tutor into my hand. Ooh, tutor for tutor for tutor. Tutor Ooh, for tutor. Tutor for tutor. vampiric tutor for merchant scroll. And... <laughs> um, I'm gonna move to combat. Okay. Three one. With flash. Three one. I'm gonna pass one, the turn. <laughs> one one. You right, can't block gonna... anyway, that's, right? That's actually true. You like probably should have just thrown him at Jerry. Wow, at Jerry. Uh, I'm going to pass my turn. Okay, I'll untap. I'm gonna draw a card. What do we got here? A lot of nonsense, I think. I know, yeah. right? Uh, right, I know. Let's go with Toxic Deluge. <sighs> I'm gonna pay three life. Well, it's an additional cost, so it is. he's up to he's down to thirty-four. Jerry, any effects? Nope. I also have no effects. I also have no effects. Okay. Swoop. That was uh, kind of unfortunate. I really liked it. I I'm gonna pass the turn. Oh, okay. I like that there's not two Notion Thieves in play anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna untap, and then I'm gonna trigger my Mana Crypt, and I'm gonna do the thing where I flip the coin, and it's gonna be uh, Spike Beater's up hurt me. That was awful. Let's try that again. Good one. Nice. I am hurt though. I'm down to 34 because I just can't get away from Jim on the life total. Wow. The three of us are at 34 now. Thank yeah, goodness. I'm at 35. <laughs> All is right with the world. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to draw a card. Uh, isn't this dead? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, guess it is. <laughs> G count two. G count two. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I like 34? Okay. Huh. Cards in everybody's hand. Three. Uh, five. Four, three, three, two. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay two life and get probe targeting Jan. Oh, oh no, oh, that's my hand. <laughs> uh, Jared I'm down to thirty-two. 32. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Jan, it's that guy you are. <laughs> Good choice. What's he got? got? Some cards. He's got Baron in his hand. <laughs> Ooh. I'm glad I toxic <laughs> deluged. Uh, I'm gonna draw a card off the get probe before I forget. Yeah, please don't forget. I'm gonna play the waterlogged grove of my dreams. 
Uh, I'm then going to tap an underground C for a black, and I'm going to cast a dark ritual. Mm, yeah, I have no effects. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm going to add three black to my mana pool. Yes, sir. I'm then going to tap an island for a blue, and uh, using two of the black going down to one black, attempt to cast Time Twister. Hmm. Ooh, twisty sometimes. That shuffles our libraries, right? Yeah, and graveyards. So casting this Vampiric Tutor isn't very good. And yeah, it's a good way to lose two life. It's a good way to lose a mana. Um, I'm going to uh, go to 33. Please let it resolve, because Jan's Dockside Extortionist will get shuffled. I know. I'm just... What are you going to? Uh, 33. 33. Taking a pain off this yep, underground. Right. I'm going to try to fluster Storm, with the Storm count being... Three. 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 So, so I have to pay four. You have to pay four. Oh, I like this. Yeah, That's right? I, I like, like this, so. Elliot. Yeah. He's got the four to pay. Yep. And as we know, Jerry doesn't Yeah, wait. this is a good play. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pay the four. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, uh, I have no further effects. Oh, wow. My god. Oh, my God. This could have been so good, and I screwed this up because I got greedy. Oh. I'm going to cast Shallow Grave. And the top card of creature card of my graveyard is Dockside Extortionist, not Notion Thief. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so it um, resolves. Yeah. I, I have no any responses effects to Shadow Grave. Grave. I have no response. No effects, yeah. So Dockside enters the battlefield. I get four. Uh, it is still four for me, yes. Yeah, four treasures. All right. Uh, Fisty. All right, now that we resolve that, I'm going to resolve, uh, well, attempt to resolve a different spell. Oops. I'm going to tap two mana, and I'm going to attempt to cast this Demonic Tutor. Uh, I have no effects. I am going to sacrifice three treasures. Uh, and cast a dual caster mage, uh, ETB, oh. trigger Anala, uh, and I'll pay the one to make a copy of said dual caster mage. Both dual caster mages will target Dark Ritual. Or not Dark Ritual, <laughs> that one, Demonic Tutor. Oh, okay. If oh. they ETB. If they ETB. Yeah, I have no effects. Okay, so Anala trigger. Yeah. Like no effects on the Anala yeah. trigger. Mm. Create the token. Yeah. Trigger the token. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh... Yeah, I, I, I'm, uh, yeah, six, yeah, yeah, I'm not fixing on all this. Double search. All right, cool. I'm going to get these two cards here, and then still in response to the Demonic Tutor, I'm going to crack two of my treasures, going down to one, tap my Badlands for, say, a red. I'm going to cast Ghostly Flicker, targeting my Dockside Extortionist, my Dual Caster Mage. Then while maintaining priority, I'm going to spend my last treasure to cast Essence Flux, targeting my Dual Caster Mage. Oh boy. Okay, oh what's that gonna boy. do? So when the ghostly flicker resolves, no, 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 the, the, the essence, essence flux, flux is gonna resolve first. first. So you're yeah. gonna get a, a dual caster mage. Yes, yeah, so the essence flux is gonna resolve and it's gonna blink my dual caster mage. It's gonna enter the battlefield and it's gonna create two triggers. It's gonna trigger itself and it's gonna trigger a Nala. Uh -huh. So with the dual caster mage trigger, I'm going to copy the ghostly flicker. Uh, oh, then, so you infinitely oh, flicker. Yeah, so I can infinitely flicker my dual caster mage and my dockside extortionist, oh. which is going to generate me um, infinite amount of treasures and uh, infinite and tutors. infinite tutors because I can use after after the treasures the from, eminence ability from the eminence ability to make uh, a second dual caster. This token is sneaky. that's going to copy the demonic tutor. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, so Okay, I guess any, any responses to the ghostly or to the essence flux, I guess, because that resolves first. Uh, no, I, no. I'm gonna pass priority on that. Yeah. I, uh, I have a demonic tutor on the stack. Does that count? It, that is a it, spell that's on the not. stack. Okay, I'll pass priority. It, if, if nothing else, that's why we're losing right now. <laughs> yeah, Jer, way to God, cast a demonic tutor. Gosh yeah. darn pirates. Gosh. All right, well, I'm gonna tutor up a whole bunch of cards and get a whole bunch of treasures. I guess so. Yeah. All right, so I tutored up a whole bunch of cards. All of them are relevant. I need every single one for my strategy. I'm going to get a whole bunch of treasures. <laughs> We're not going to count. We're just going to put a whole bunch of those things. Do you have a 60-piece uh, combo? Is that what you're I doing? I do. Right it's now? so good. Check out the deck list. <laughs> uh, then I'm going to resolve my two spells. Okay. So uh, I think this dual caster mage has a 1-1 counter on it, but I'm out of dice. <laughs> There's uh, also like... A whole bunch of these. A bunch of dual caster mages. A whole bunch of dual caster mages. And then, so we're back to Jerry's Demonic Tutor. Hey, hey, Jan, can I tutor? I'm going to uh, pass for <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say no, but hang on. I don't know how I'm saying no yet. Let's but, look through here. It's not happening, Jerry. Let it go. <laughs> Let it go. I, you know Let what? Let it go. No. no. I'm going to throw back to earlier in the turn, uh -oh. uh, and I'm going to spend one of these treasures, and I'm going to cast a Flusterstorm. Sorry, what's the storm count at? 
uh, uh, more mana than Jerry has. So the first, so <laughs> Stormcat's not actually that high because most of those were copies. Yeah, I know. So it's like five, <laughs> yeah. six. So okay, um, I'll pay for the first one. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay so the next one counts. <laughs> successfully countered. Hey. We okay. Did it. So. Uh, yeah, we are. I guess in Jerry's turn. Is I do this? have another thing to do. Okay. Oh. I want to play a Lotus Petal and fast the turn. Oh, he did it! He, he did, did it, it so after. fast. You gonna let that resolve? I guess. Come on, Jen. Uh, oh, don't, don't be like that. Don't be like that. You manager in. You should manager in it. Yeah. <laughs> do it. You're manager in this Lotus, Lotus Petal. Oh my goodness. Show I'm not a delayed afraid. trigger. Coming up. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, she. It down. Actually, there is a delay trigger coming up because you were in your pre-combat main phase. Yeah. <laughs> God. Move to combat and into my second main phase. Yeah, make zero mana. No, it's it's my mana drain. It's during my first main oh. phase. I'm gonna make zero mana. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we're all bad. we're all bad. No, okay. it's at the next main phase. Beginning of your oh, next your main oh. phase. This is the new one. This is like an update. Right. Oh, oh, right. I didn't know that they did that. Because it's Jerry's turn. Yeah. Jerry's turn. How is it my how did he get his deck in his okay. Are you passing your turn? Yeah, I'm passing my I'm turn. I'm gonna untap. Uh I'm gonna draw. I don't feel like I can do a whole lot. Try. Oh, well, the dual caster mages go away. Oh, at the end yeah, of Jerry's these ones turn. go away. No, they don't, right? Yeah. Uh, the next end step. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Yeah. But this dock side doesn't go away from when I got it back with the. Oh yeah, because he flickered it yeah. a bunch of times. The shower grave. Um, That's the one. Well, I'm gonna play a city of brass. That's pretty good. And um, um, I'm gonna play into it. I'm gonna try to cast a spell seeker. <gasps> Spellseeker. That's pretty good. Um, I gotta kind of copy that one. Hang on, I gotta go through my big old meta cards. Do you have counterspell? I gotta go. And why can't I hold all <laughs> like, these cards? Wow. Like, uh, that's what you sound let's like. Let's play this red elemental blast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I yeah, have a that's... response to the red elemental blast. Oh no. Oh. I'm gonna cast Worldly Tutor. <laughs> I have no effects. No effects. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so the Worldly Tutor is gonna resolve. I'm gonna grab Generous Patron. Because that's what this episode's all about. Yeah. Shout out to our generous patrons. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, well, well, okay. I broke so um, credit. This red elemental blast resolves, and I'm I'm gonna pass my turn. Oh, excellent. I'm gonna untap my permanence. <laughs> oh, must be nice. And I'm gonna draw a card. Sixty-two card combo. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Can I do? Uh, what's everybody's life totals at? Uh, I'm at 34. 32. 33. What am I at? 35? Oh, this is bad. Oh, well, no. 35. <laughs> uh, I'm going to cast a Rolling Earthquake. X, X equals, equals 34. Oh. X oh. equals... Oh, misclick! Yeah. Ah. Oh, game time. I, 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 Draw. Yeah, game. yeah I got no response. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I have no yeah. response. No, uh, no, no thanks. However, I, I was about to say, your, your things are dead. <laughs> yeah. They're dead. Oh, what a one. one. Wait, do they have horsemanship? They were so young. They don't have horsemanship. Not yet. All right. Yeah, wow. that was cool. Wow. I thought it was really cool that you were able to win off of Jerry's demonic tutor. Like, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah, really right. what set off that whole chain of events that yeah. led to our undoing. Jerry, Jerry got if greedy. I, if I learned something here, I'm never casting demonic tutor in a CDH game again. Why does Jerry always learn the wrong? <laughs> <lesson>? <laughs> if there's one thing we learned here, it's that you should never play. Thrasios yes. and Vile Smasher. Ah, that's the real, yeah. yeah. Mm, Jer yeah. Jerry was the maker of his own undoing, because yeah. I drew the dual caster mage off his time twister. <laughs> <laughs> we should hit us up in the comments. What are what's the lesson that Jerry should learn from this game? <laughs> how about we? how about the real Dockside extortionist yes. was the friendships we made along the way? I hate and, James. <laughs> and let us know if you think we should get a wheel of morality. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. So that wow. game was something. That was a game. <clears throat> I uh, felt like I overextended in the early game, yeah. especially since we all just finished explaining how our decks all hate on creature combos, and I felt like I walked into that damnation hard. Yeah, yeah. And this game, this deck does not rebuild explosively. It's, right, it's green, kind of, black. It's a two-turn rebuild, right? Because it's meant to be like a two-turn setup at the beginning of mm. the game, like turn one Manador, turn two like Manador Capatra. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so when we like time twistered, I was like, oh, that's great. But then I'm like, oh, I'm two turns away from doing anything, especially with a four mana Hepatra. So, yeah. Yeah, my know. hand was pretty good after that time twister, but uh, I didn't have a lot of mana. And by the time it got to me being able to do things, Jan had 62 counter spells in his hand. <laughs> so I guess my hand was not as good as I needed it to be. <laughs> yeah. 
How many counter spells did you have in your hand? Uh, goose egg. Goose egg. Big ol' zero. Oh, like 56. So. <laughs> um, yeah, that combo was wild. I, uh, I was like stumbling a little bit on mana there with the Elvish Mystic getting wiped and then the rebuild turn, like you were saying, I had to play out the Elves of Deep Shadow and then I did all the stuff with like the Spellseeker uh, and the Vampiric Tutor would have been finding the piece that would have won me the game, but Jerry time twistered, obviously. Uh -huh. So, yeah, and I don't know what everybody else had, but I had, probably looked like it maybe wasn't happening for I had me. A <laughs> pyroclasm and the like reanimate spell and Baron in my hand. Pyroclasm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just brutal. Like, cause I definitely <laughs> could have rebuilt a little bit by going like I had a Finhorn Elves, I think, yeah. and um, a Diabolic Intent, and I'm like, ah, you know, maybe I could just go like boom, boom, boom. But then like I was gonna get wiped again. I was yeah. so far out of that game. Yeah, I uh, I uh, had an Unreal rollout into a. Demonic Tutor off the top. So, full disclosure, that opening seven was probably not keepable just from the seven due to the fact that it literally just wiped the board after playing out a bunch of rocks and hoped for the best. But then I drew the Demonic Tutor and went and got Mr. Sorry, Grimoire. did you say that was not a keepable opening seven? It's that, not a keepable that, opening seven. You had like 10 mana and a Thrasios. So, here's the thing. I don't cast Thrasios. You I should with 10 mana. Yeah. Card's not good. That's a, Everybody write that in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> The um, real Thrasios along the way is the Vile Smashers <laughs> that are friends. I want to point what? out, I cast Vile Smasher before Thrasios with all that mana because I was like, I don't cast Thrasios. That's just because you happen to have three mana. Don't act yeah. like you had some big plan. <laughs> Look, cool. mana efficiency. Mm. And Jerry, then, Jerry helped me because no one else was playing artifacts. And so I, I, at the beginning of the game, I Imperial Sealed for the Dockside Extortionist. And I thought about getting a Spellseeker. I was like, maybe this is too greedy. No one's going to play artifacts. And then Jim <laughs> plays a mana dork and passes his turn. Yeah. And Jerry's just like, hmm, artifact, artifact, artifact. Yeah. That was, I made a direct call. That was a good decision. <laughs> well, this is like, this is a Golgari deck, right? So yeah. we play uh, Ufi. Dorks. Yes. Ufi yes. and Nalrod. And I think we play Mana Crypt and yeah. Box Right. And that's so it, these right? decks were kind of a little different than decks yeah. you see in the wild, right? Yeah. Because of the ban lists. Well, yeah, I didn't, yeah. Play, um, I didn't play Mana Crypt. Because yeah. we didn't, that no. was banned for us. Uh, yeah, yeah, I didn't have Mana Crypt, I didn't it. have Soaring. Um, I had so, Soaring and Mana Crypt. Yeah. yeah, it was maybe a little greedy for my team to stay on this creature, like, Mana Dork-based ramp deck into Hulk combo, knowing that, like, we were trying to push people out of the other fast mana. So, like, it was, it was definitely interesting. I think maybe this... One was kind of more of like a learning experience, and then the yeah. next one is going to be like really fierce. We might tune the way that we do mm. the ban lists and stuff. Well, do for you guys the next maybe contest. want to talk a little bit about like why you picked your strategies? Because like we had a really good reason to pick our yeah, strategy for sure. Yeah, yeah. So we basically so we had like three different topics of conversations. We were well, maybe I'm throwing out a number for three, but we talked about. Maybe we want to get rid of the best win cons, like just in the format in general, like just hit everybody with the Flash, Protean Hulk, Demonic Consultation Jace, that type of stuff. But then you're like, no matter what, people are going to find a way to win. Right. And then, like, infinitely, right? Like, the, now there's Dockside Baron. There's all the ways to make infinite mana, Isochron, uh -huh. uh, Dramatic Scepter. Um, so we were like, how do we prevent people from getting there? Uh -huh. And then we were like, so then we moved into the fact of how do we prevent it if we're trying to do the same a similar thing. So then uh. we were like, why don't we hit the fast mana and try to meta game here by making our opponents switch into creature strategies and then just hurt the creature strategies. Right. Because so, like uh, nobody really we played two wraths that game or whatever, right? Yeah. But like your you said oh, your I deck was, was like stuffed. I had I had after he cast Toxic Deluge, I was like, oh, I don't have to cast my Toxic Deluge. <laughs> right. Yeah. Type of deal. Well, like, and I said, I have Pyroclasm in my hand, and yeah. the Rolling Earthquake is not the win condition. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's creature <laughs> management, and it's, oh, if I'm a higher life total, all right. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, Toxic Deluge was so, so free. I was going to say three because it was for three, yeah. but uh, it was three because of Elliot's Carrion Feeder there. Yeah. I didn't want it to survive. Yeah, if, if my Carrion Feeder had lived. Yeah, I only needed <laughs> to do it for two because Dockside had two toughness, but I yeah. went for the three to pop the Carrion Feeder. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, did you basically go around the same lines? Or? Yeah, so like I was saying um, a little bit at the beginning, we kind of thought the same thing. Like, we'll take other people off fast mana 
uh, and then go into like uh, we were originally thinking like an Opus Thief uh, mm -hmm. variant, uh, but then nobody banned Hulk from my team, uh, and I'm gonna throw him under the bus a little bit here. But Sick Robot was just like. Well, well, nobody banned Hulk. And everybody else was like, well, nobody banned Hulk. So we, we I'm going to tell you something right now about our banning of you right there. Because we literally had the conversation. It was like, do we ban Flash or Hulk? And we both, like, everyone in our chat was like, I don't care about non-Flash Hulk. Yeah. 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 Um, I think the deck was sweet still. Like, I, I would definitely play Hulk in a non-Flash world. Personally, mm -hmm. I, just, I just like Frody and Hulk a lot, right? He's but... A Big, so what were your guys. what did what did you decide on for your Hulk lines? Like, is it the same Hulk combo? How do you get it into play? Um, you... Yeah, so it's just reanimating him, like necromancy or whatever. So it overlays with um, the cat, uh, the like, uh, no, um, lesser manicor. No, the get the enchantment from the graveyard, sack him, and they loop with a blood artist effect. Leon and Relic Warrior? That guy. That guy. <laughs> that guy. That's the guy. Savannah Lion? Savannah Lion? <laughs> Jungle Cauldron Lion? Our Roar of the World? So, um, we have like Necromancy uh, and other uh, enchantment-based reanimate so that it loops with that. And then there's also um, Devoted Druid Vizier mm -hmm. uh, for infinite mana because Thrasios is still in our command zone. Um, there's, uh, Lesser Manticore, which also combos with the Vizier, uh, yep. again, with Sack Outlet Blood Artist effect, you can sack him infinitely. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, but yeah. Jen, what do you have? Uh, so we, again, had the same conversation. It's mm -hmm. like, take everybody off fast mana, push them into creature-based mana, and then play Power Colosm, Rolling Earthquake, things like that. We didn't go quite as heavy on the creature hate as everyone else seems to have. Because uh, I don't think I were playing Toxic Deluge. I may be incorrect. Um, so the the main win is we, we originally we were actually talking about going to a stacks deck. Like if we're going to push people out of fast mana, then we're going to try to tax the mana rocks they have and the creature mana. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, but then I was like, well, how do we close out the game? Like, what's an actual win condition we can sort of play? Because we don't want to be here all night. Mm -hmm. You guys <laughs> don't want to be here for eight hours, sort of thing. So, um, Spleen Face, uh, I believe brought Anala up. Uh, originally we were really excited, we were talking about Elsha, and then we started talking about Anala because Eminence is um, a relevant ability, just as a value engine. Mm -hmm. Right. And he was saying, oh, we have this uh, have this deck where you um, you can win if you have a uh, spell seeker in your hand and access to two, a blue and a black. Mm -hmm. Right, and it's like the, really compact. Very kind of. like very long list, he sent me a spreadsheet of it, it's about 67 steps to win the game. Um, but it starts with you spell seeker for um, you spell seeker and you copy it. So it's it's a really weird the way the triggers work is you spell seeker and then you go get uh, calling the week and then you cast the calling the week, sacking the spell seeker to use the three the mana from calling the week to pay for the copy of spell seeker oh, yeah. to get reanimate to reanimate your spell yeah. seeker. And, and you kind of go through. Yeah, wow. And eventually you get to a point where you're looping a reanimate and a calling the week effect with Archaeomancer. Mm -hmm. And you're just like keep casting them, and then you just kill everybody with their answer tokens. Oh yeah, um, big hasty or yeah, Archaeomancer tokens. Yeah, really that's, that's yeah. a cool way to win the game. Uh, <laughs> so then we also added in the Dockside Baron combo to give us, and then um, the wow, Baron's a wizard. Yeah, Baron's a wizard, yeah. and the uh, dual caster mage lines yeah. to, to sort of give us a little bit more. That one worked out for you. It yeah, did work out. <laughs> as it turns out, at instant speed, speed, which is which is kind of cool for like a creature based combo to win at instant yeah. speed like that. Yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah, so we had a lot of fun with it. Everyone was really excited about it. Um, yeah, what about you? How'd you go, Jim? Uh, well, we actually almost went with Anala. Uh, we we <laughs> kind of followed the same lines. I was expecting people to ban more win conditions, but it seems like you all went for, went for fast mana, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Which is kind of what left Hulk open for Elliot. Um, but I was expecting win conditions to be banned. So we went with, um, uh, when we banned Flash, and we figured uh, we figured that when people banned the win conditions, that it would push people into creature-based combo. Because we, we said, okay, well, what do we think is the best deck if everybody bans good win conditions? Then we said creature-based combo. So it's like, um, you know, it's like, it's like Bill, the same deck that Bill likes playing every time, right? Yeah. It's like Karmic Guy, <laughs> it's, it's Kiki, it's like all those. It's like maybe some kind of pod thing. Mm -hmm. um, so we, 
initially we went with Anala and we were like, this is kind of a cool, we can do the dual cast mage, we can do heat shimmer, whatever we want to do. And then we were like, you know what, if people are in creature based combo, maybe we want to run torpor orb effects. So we went down the list and we looked at all of the different creature based combos that don't require ETBs so that we could run Torp Orb and, uh, I guess that's it, Torp Orb in Golgari. Uh, yeah, Golgari. Yeah, in yeah, Golgari. Yeah. Um, so that we could run Torp Orb just in case, right? right? Um, just in case people were on Kiki combos. Yeah, that would have been helpful. That would, that yeah, it would have been super yeah. helpful I if I had drawn it. I don't think I have any actual combos to get around that. Yeah. <laughs> so that was why we ended up on Hepatra, because yeah. I like the fact that Hepatra gives us an access uh, to an effect that manages the board in the command zone. It obviously didn't happen in this game because I got wiped super early, way <laughs> earlier than I expected to. But it's nice to be able to like maybe land to Patro turn one and then like swing and pop a dork. Right. Like yeah. that's a pretty big swing and yeah. make a snake. Yeah. Right. It uh, you know shuts off Timna draws because nobody's going to attack into a death touch snake and like all this stuff. So that's how we landed on Habatra and I uh, stand by it. I think that this mm -hmm. is a very strong deck. Um, it's it's like not exactly the poison ball shell from the database, but it's like decently close. Right. We I, made some meta calls. Yeah, I, I've been wanting to play Hepatra um, since like Yogmoth got spoiled. It's a cool deck. We went with a five mana yeah. spider. Yeah, <laughs> obelisk spider. That one's a uh, yeah. I'll, I'll put that one up on screen. Yeah, because nobody's gonna know what that one. That's does. a cool one. This is our devastation. Cool yeah. 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 yeah, I might bring this limited one back. all star. Yes. That's a cool um, deck. One banning that I want to talk about because originally when it, or my team brought it up. Uh, on the surface, when they just said, and it'll just show up on the list, everybody has Carpet of Flowers banned, yeah. but me. And I was like, Carpet of Flowers? And they were like, well, we're playing Grixis, and if we're playing blue, we don't want to be feeding other people mana. Mm -hmm. And when you look at what we've come up with, you're playing green, you're playing green, you're playing green, and you're both playing blue. So Jim playing mm -hmm. Carpet of Flowers would have mm -hmm. gotten him insane yeah. value. So. Yep. On the surface, it looked kind of like a mm, sort of ban, but I got on board, and it actually it would have it, it paid off. I yeah, think. I don't I don't know if anyone was thinking about playing it, but it felt like a solid choice. I mean, I would have played Dockside it if yeah. I could have, right? Yeah. Who banned Dockside from me? Me. Yes. That was <laughs> I was super upset because I was like, you know what? This is going to be the excuse I need. Let's play Baron Dockside. Well, so we had yeah. Dockside on our list for you two, but Elliot's banned him first. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. So we we snake drafted the bans, right? Yeah. So you already had. Uh, the things that I had initially planned to ban for you, so I took away food chain because you had Shaper on your yeah. team, and Dockside because you had Shaper on your this team. This was exactly our rationale for banning yeah. the same two cards. Sorry, yeah. Shaper. No, not sorry. Not sorry. I was. Sorry. I wanted. Do I was like Shaper's on my team. We're gonna come up with some sick Dockside line. Nope. 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 I was yeah. like, yeah, I was. I wasn't like shocked that I got to play Dockside Extortion. I was like, I can play Dockside Extortion. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. card's good as it turns out. It just needs to be yeah. a wizard. But yeah, that's our season God. finale. Yeah, I guess yeah. so, right? Season oh, five in the, in the that's, books. In the books. This was fun. I think we should do this again. I think oh, if we yeah, do this again, maybe bigger ban list next time. Yes. Yeah, I, um, like I was saying, there might be a couple changes we make to the way yeah, that it came anyway. together, right? Yeah. But you know, that's this was sick. It learning was so process. Fun. And, yeah, this was so awesome. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. So we will uh, catch you next season. Don't know how long yeah. the break's going to be, but we'll take a short-ish break, and we will be back uh, with season six. Season six. Six, six already. Can you believe it? Next no. up, the movie. Yeah, <laughs> six seasons <laughs> in the movie. We'll catch, catch you next. next. Hey, thanks for checking out the Spike Feeders on YouTube. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you click that subscribe button. And you can click this link to check out our other great videos.